हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू येट अनदर सेशन ऑफ मास्टर मीन्स पी वाई क्यू बाई नेक्स्ट आई एस टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक पोर्शन ऑफ योर जी एस थ्री पेपर ऑफ सी एस सी मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो द क्वेश्चन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ योर पेपर डिस्कस सेवरल वेज इन विच माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम कैन हेल्प इन मीटिंग द करंट फ्यूल शॉर्टेज दिस इज अ टेन मार्कर एंड यू हैव टू राइट इट इन वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स From the syllabus part, it is from the GS paper three and is cover and covers the portion of biotechnology part. All right, I hope you have already written the question and submitted it for free evaluation. So let's straight away start with the question. Here we need to target that microorganisms can help in addressing the current fuel shortage. So in the introduction part, you can start with current fuel shortage. So current fuel shortage. there are various reasons which contribute to current fuel shortage worldwide which are majorly covid-19 after covid-19 fuel shortages are seen ar uh, around various countries next is russia ukraine war which disturbed the demand supply side all right uh, next is opec plus has cut on oil production all right so these are the ma many reasons because of which countries are facing fuel shortages also there are some major countries like china usa russia which are supplying fuel Now, and other countries are dependent on these fuels for their domestic uh, needs all right so these countries which are mainly importing importing the fuels from other countries these countries need to be self sufficient in their fuel supplies and for that they can use biotechnology because dependency on other countries and on the global trade is always not like you can say it's full proof so countries need to develop their own sources of fuel all right so here biotechnology can be can play a major role in this question itself it is saying about microorganisms can help in addressing this issue so here we will we will discuss how microorganisms can help can address this issue can help countries to develop fuel all right so in the main part you can start with microbes see different type of microbes which you know you can say yeast are there bacteria fungi all right and algae so these are the microbes which can be used for production of biofuels biofuels it is said because these are microbes are utilized here basic line here is these accumulate lipids and these lipids are are converted into fuel okay so lipid is an important part because of which these microbes can uh, can be developed into biofuel all right so we will cover these biofuel one by one first here is biodiesel Biodiesel here, algae plays a role. All right, what is happening here is carbon dioxide and sunlight. These are getting converted into lipids with the help of algae, and then fuel is produced, which is biodiesel. One more thing: why these fuels, these biodiesels, biogas, and other uh, these uh, alternative fuels are superior to? gasoline uh, diesel petrol because these are renewables these have high energy efficiency all right the carbon emission the greenhouse gas emissions is lower so countries are switching to this and these are also environment friendly so switching to these is better for our future generations also and for making self sufficiency in our oil uh, our own oil production also all right so biodiesel we have covered next in line is next in line is cellulosic biofuel cellulosic biofuel you can say so it is made from cellulose and from where the cellulose is collected the cellulose is obtained from a uh, crop residue you can say all right poplar is also a source paper pulp so from these raw product cellulose is obtained and this cellulose get converted into fermented sugars this is just for understanding in the question itself you can write only about cellulose getting converted into cellulosic fuel cellulosic biofuel so it is getting converted into fermented sugar with the help of bacteria and yeast here is this part bacteria and yeast because in the question microorganism is asked so here you need to mention about bacteria and yeast convert cellulose into cellulosic ethanol 
all right so here you can cover cellulose to cellulose its lower part along with it it can also be like corn and sugar cane all right corn and sugar cane can also be used corn sugar cane you can give these examples in the answer itself corn and sugar cane with the help of yeast can be converted into bioethanol okay and this ethanol this bioethanol can be can be used to blend with petrol all right so these are the types next in line is algae based fuel here algae is used algae is used to make biofuel here microalgae is cultivated microalgae okay okay you need to write microalgae microalgae is cultivated and it gets converted into biofuel all right so we have till now we have covered three parts algae yeast bacteria all right so next in line is from biomass all right from biomass what is biomass which is biomass waste mass okay waste from the in industries you can say organic waste mainly organic waste not from the industry organic waste from household waste etc so this waste this waste is biomass and from which from which energy can be generated with the help of microorganisms all right from this biomass various things various sources of fuel can be originated for example biogas can be produced okay methane hydrogen methane is also ch4 okay if you know this so it further can be can be used to make hydrogen so biogas methane and hydrogen can be made from biomass here bacteria are employed bacteria or other microbes are employed so with the help of biomass here what we are doing we are solving our waste disposal problem also huge waste are there huge waste from the municipals are there so these huge waste can be utilized to make energy so two problems are getting addressed problem of huge waste and problem of fuel sufficiency so this can address both here microbes can address both next is next in line is microbial fuel cell microbial fuel cell i won't go much in depth of this microbial fuel cell you just need to understand that here electricity is directly produced electricity is directly produced from the from the waste with the help of with the help of microorganisms all right just understand this thing the microbial fuel cell employs this concept that electricity electricity is directly produced from the waste with the help of microbes so these are some processes you can say some uh, fuels you can say which are alternative to the diesel and petrol which are mainly produced from the microorganism so with the help of microorganisms these many kind of fuels can be produced all right so hence we answered this part of the question that high microorganisms can help in meeting the current fuel shortage now how these microorganisms or how these these uh, technologies these processes can be utilized to uh, accelerate our production of fuel all right or make this uh, fuel production more efficient so that there you can write about how this process of you know formation of oil formation of fuel sorry formation of fuel by microorganisms can be accelerated here some things needs to be done from different different country side like investing in research investment in research part research on new technology new methods all right new kind of microbes you can say so this research this research is the baseline for making this production making this study more efficient and more valuable all right so that full potential of the this kind of fuels this kind of research can be utilized and countries can become self sufficient in their fuel all right so this can be done and investment in the infrastructure infrastructure you can say about production facility transportation marketing all right steps needs to be taken to strengthen these areas so that production of fuel transportation of fuel utilization of fuel can be made more efficient along with this you can write about collaboration between different countries collaboration is a must because when different countries will come together then finances will come will come new technologies will come 
new research will happen and that only will help to address this issue of fuel shortage so in this way you can write about how this this formation of fuels from microorganisms can be done in a better manner in the conclusion part now if you see the conclusion part in the conclusion part you can write some initiatives of india also like in india various schemes are there first is pm jeevan you can write all right gobardhan yojana scheme you can write about it and you can also write about national biofuel policy of 2019 so these are the these are some basic initiatives which are taken in which have taken place in india for uh, working on the biofuel and alternative fuels you can say all right so in this way india has addressed our fuel sufficiency needs and work is in progress regarding it all right so in the in this way you can conclude this portion i hope you had a quality learning session today till we meet again keep on writing the pyqs and submitting it for free evaluation till we meet again take care and thank you